Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222. This is episode 32. Today we're going to start working on the hinges and the latches for the uh, covers for the vision ports. Um, this is one of the detail items that needs to get done. Um, it's going to be pretty complicated, so it'll probably take the entire video. Um, but it's going to be some interesting fabricating, so stick around and check it out. So the different versions of the 222 had different uh, configurations for the the hatches over the vision ports. Um, we're doing like a, vi a version 5, um, but some of the earlier versions, and depending on whether it's a 221, a 222, 223, or even one of the radio cars, they all had various configurations in terms of the shape and layout of the uh, vision ports. So here's one of the simpler ones, and it had kind of just all of the vision ports were the same size, and they had exposed hinges, but this is an earlier version. This would have been a lot easier to replicate, uh, but because we're going with a later version vehicle, we want to try to copy that style of uh, vision port. So you can see how those are quite large, they're all the same size, and they have exposed hinges on the top. So we're going with a later version, and uh, I don't have a really good photo, but you can see that there's a slightly different configuration in terms of the size and shape of the vision ports, particularly the driver's main port is a lot larger, and then there's that kind of smaller one on the passenger side. The other thing you can notice, and again, it's hard to look in the, see in these photos, but they do not have exposed hinges. There's kind of like an internal sort of uh, lever that shifts them up and down. So here's a photograph from the inside and you can see that kind of arm right there, kind of a 90 degree arm uh, that pivots on a bar and it, it, the bar itself has two kind of hinge points and there's also a kind of a latch with a spring activated detent that allows you to lo lower, lower it and close it. And the driver's one actually had kind of a closed position, a half open and a fully open on the detent. So today we're going to start working uh, through making the, the kind of hinge bar system the little lever arms and also the, the uh, spring activated latch. Okay, so the basic plan is we have the, uh, the visor opening, the vision port, and we need to make trim to go around the outside edge of it. You can see that in the photo, kind of the reinforcement. And then in particular these these pieces on the side, it looks to me like there's two bolt, bolt down points, there's two studs. So we're going to fabricate those studs. Then we're going to need to make a small piece that goes over top. That's going to have two holes in it. It's also going to have a hinge point for that bar. So we need two of those. We need to fabricate the bar that fits in between them. and then we'll start working on the latch.
Okay, so there's the first part of the hinge mechanism completed. It's those two small uh, bolt-on plates with the tubing on the top there. That allows the bar to feed through and you've got that crossbar and then off of the crossbar is where the uh, the two arms that connect to the hatch and act as the pivot point they connect and slide over that bar and also at the end of the bar is where your uh, lever latch mechanism connects as well okay now that the basic hinge is done with the the bar and the two uh, bolt-on plates I've got to make an arm which is about a 90 degree. On the top end of the bar, it's going to have a hole, and then the bottom end connects to the hatch itself. <laughs> Now that we got a working hinge mechanism completed, we're going to start working on the latch. This is going to be a little bit more complicated. We're going to need a spring detent pin that is actuated by the lever that allows you to open up the hatch and lock it in place. So the basic idea is we need basically a small section tubing that has a spring inside it and a pin that will move back and forth and then that gets welded into another piece of tubing that pivots on the bar. That would be the bar there that the hinge mechanism for the hatch. And then below it, there needs to be a handle that both serves as a way to grab it and, and lever the hatch open and closed, but also actuates this pin this spring activated pin. So the first thing we need to do is get a piece of tubing of the right size. I'm going to have to put a slot in it, weld a cap on one end, and that will serve as the section that holds the spring. That's our spring. We need to make a pin. That pin is going to have to have a hole drilled and tapped in it so it can have a catch piece. Okay, here are all our components. You can see there's a small piece of tubing. We've got our tube with the slot cut in it. And there's our detent pin and spring. There's the various pieces of material that connects everything together. And there's the pieces that make the handle at the bottom. 
This little piece here is kind of like a hook or a latch. It gets welded on the back side and it's what actually um, levers and slides the detent pin back and forth. And you can see on the detent pin there is a little hole that's drilled and tapped in it. So I'm going to start welding this together and assembling it. Okay, so we've got everything finished up. Um, the latch works like it's supposed to. The spring detent pin works. And it locks down or it locks in the open position. Um, a couple of little things. Everything seems to be working really good. I'm happy with the design. Um, this plate here that has the holes that it locks into place. It was really tricky to try to determine where those holes were going to be and ultimately it could be um, a little bit more open and uh, the other thing is th this half inch pin for whatever reason I didn't get the geometry just right maybe the lever needs to be down a little bit more and this arc would be a little larger but as it stands I can only get two positions, open and closed. The original had a locked, closed position. It had a partially open, and then it had a fully open. So this piece is only tacked in place. I might redesign that uh, later. Uh, but overall, the lever itself is good. The hinges work well. The concept is sound. So we're going to go with it. The side doors, the side hatches, they had similar um, levers to this, same design. Um, the passenger side front facing hatch on this version, it actually doesn't open and close. It just has kind of like a removable hatch with four bolts and a slight, a little uh, vision slit. So we're going to replicate that the exact same. Um, Again, a lot of work getting these little moving parts just right, but uh, for the overall aesthetic and functionality, this is one of the things I wanted to make sure we had right. Okay guys, we're going to wrap this up right here. Um, obviously I'm not going to show you how I fabricate all of the uh, hinges and latches because it's basically the same process, but hopefully you got a good idea of what went into this project. If this is your first time uh, coming around and watching videos on the Woods Farm, definitely like and subscribe and make sure to click the bell so you don't miss any of the future videos on Project 222. As things get warmer, we're going to be doing some more welding on the seams. Um, i got to start working on the roof. And, of course, we finally got to get around to working on these fenders. Um, we're hoping to have the uh, major parts of the body completed by... Um, probably mid-May and we want to try to get this thing painted um, so that is what we're working towards as always thanks for watching